I've worked in humanitarian sector and especially with public health emergencies for a number of years. Um, I have worked in both of the, the major Ebola outbreaks. I've also worked directly in camp settings to lead teams um, controlling different types of outbreaks. Currently, I'm in DRC, in Democratic Republic of Congo, where we were responding to Ebola crisis. But because of the COVID-19, we had to intervene and, and to bring all the expertise from, from every person that worked in outbreaks. From the very beginning, all of our, our teams who are responding need to be trained properly. Um, they need to be able to set up effectively and safely screening and triage and isolation areas. They need to have the proper training on infection prevention control. We also trained on um, personal protective equipment, um, PPE, because these are all the first layer in terms of making sure that our, our staff and our healthcare workers are protected, so therefore they can protect themselves and patients and the community. The COVID-19 virus is, is still very new to us and the research are, are still ongoing. So every day we have updates that we add them on the training. One of the things that we have we have remarked in in over over all the outbreaks that we worked through um, is that the false information can actually harm more than the infection itself. This is why in IOM Iraq we we decided to have a widespread training that is, is is gathered based on factual information. We're talking about things that ideally should be done face to face, but with the, the outbreak evolving the way that it is, we don't really have time to waste. We did it virtually, um, myself sitting in Tbilisi, Georgia, and then a colleague of mine sitting in North Kivu of DRC. We did it over Skype. With a, with a video and we shared the screen with the training materials so we can give the training until further notice.